Hey guys, Kid Gear here from Megabyte TV and the Tech World channel. In a past video on my original channel, youtube.com slash coolman, if you're watching this on Megabyte TV, um, I talked about dual monitors and productivity, and I asked the audience, you know, what's the best way they get productivity out of their, you know, machines? A lot of answers, as uh, I covered the video already on Ultramon, they, you know, a lot of people said they use that software. Another one popular that was brought up, which is one that I also use, was called Displayed Fusion. I'm going to come down here to the right. You see this little icon right here is Displayed Fusion. Now, if I open it, and um, now this is free, but you can get the pro version, which gives you some more functionality and gives you uh, some new options. So I'm just going to, and it opens up on my other monitor here, so I'm just going to drag it in. And it shows my wallpaper, because it says it's Display Fusion. Uh, it helps, you know, mapping wallpapers amongst uh, multiple monitors and desktops. So, um, first off, you have your background mode here, and this is where you want to set everything. You can, uh, your main settings says, I want the background to span across the entire desktop, or you want to use a different background for each desktop. Now the picture I downloaded from Debian Art, this is called, uh, it's a Japanese word, it's called Bokeh, and it's B-O-K-E-H if you want to get that on Debian Art. Um, it actually has a lot of options that you can get it in, and the download that I picked was the white, or actually you download one whole folder, extract it, and it has a whole bunch of files there. I took the widescreen left and right, and I just put them on each side of the monitor. It looks better, uh, to me it looks better when you actually, you know, take um, a picture for each background and put it on each monitor because um, first off the picture will fit the exact size of that monitor because my monitors are 1680 by 1050 in resolution and the picture is 1680 by 1050 instead of uh, stretching it across the whole entire desktop um, you know it fits perfectly now some things that are a higher resolution you can span across the desktop and they'll look perfectly fine some things you may want to put them on a separate desktop now like I said some features you may not be able to use because you have to upgrade to the pro version not exactly how much that is so I mean we can always check that out here um, but um, if you want to check that out yourself you can click it and then it takes you to a link which I'm seeing opening in the right right now so actually let me just drag that over and sorry it popped up here um, now with the free account it says it adds taskbar to every monitor and I guess it doesn't do that here so it's kind of some I'm guessing they have some new features as to uh, just like uh, Ultramon only show taskbar items on relevant monitor. The pro version includes a lot of these. Also has hotkeys, rotates uh, random images from Flickr or Vlad Studio, or even from your computer, so you can get random images cycling through your desktop. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, also installs updates automatically after prompting, and automatically fixes wallpaper if display settings to change. It's only twenty dollars. Not bad. That's a lifetime purchase. Of twenty dollars. I'm actually gonna probably look into buying that. It's really cheap. Um, really powerful software, guys, like I said. Now you can adjust um, background for use with Active Desktop if you use Active Desktop. I think that's, I'm guessing that's just like interactive uh, things in your desktop, like video, stuff like that. Now you pick the lim image right here. You can also say load from Flickr, and you can search the text so you can get certain images off of Flickr. Um, now this color right here, this is the size mode. Now uh, I set mine to stretch. If you set it to center, you see it has this little border right there. Stretch just kind of fills it in. You can say fill best as maintain, uh, fill best and maintain the aspect ratio with no clipping, uh, clip edges, stuff like that. But stretch is usually the best because it kind of pulls it out, so it fits the whole monitor. Now, what this color is is basically if there is a border, like I said, let's say the image is too small and you kind of get that, you know, there's a little border effect right there. Um, what color you want it to be, um, you know, so that means when it, like I want it to be black or whatever, and I can hit OK then you know be black and then all that little border all it would be was a color black but obviously I don't need that because the mine's on stretch and it you know should apply and I'll say you want to apply these wallpaper settings and yes and then also over here to your background image position uh, in position you can't really change this you can actually move it left or right the actual image and get really precise but that's only in the pro version I recommend if you're really serious about productivity and you know just dual monitors in general you might want to try out the pro version of the software so um it's one of the best software I've seen for actually handling, you know, dual monitor um, wallpapers and desktop wallpapers for uh, multiple monitors, whether it be one, two, three, whatever. Um, and it's really, you know, simple to use. It's free. Um, you can get the pro version for only, like I said, twenty dollars, very cheap for a lifetime use. Um, in conjunction with Ultramon, it's great, guys. And you know, like I said, Windows out of the box, it doesn't really handle dual monitor wallpapers that well. So. This is your solution, guys. You can go in the right here, and you can click Wallpaper Timer, so you can have it time on. I think this also on the Pro version. You can go in your settings, and if you pull that over, uh, let's use Enable Hotkey, similar to Ultramon, or if you want to move the window to center of the monitor, 
Um, and I believe they also made a software called like WinSplit, which actually like remembers where your windows are and like exactly the the size of the window. So if you like Firefox to be a certain dimension and you know in a certain area, stuff like that, you can go to options to start with the uh, Windows. You can make proxies. You need to connect to that your license key. Windows snapping and you know all the stuff. And you can even add all uh, other hotkeys and remove them. And if you want to make custom hotkeys, you actually have to get to the pro version. So guys, um, it's really worth uh, getting the pro version, I would think. Uh, if it's only twenty dollars, and if you're serious, like I said about dual monitors, check it out. I'm uh, again, a lot of people always ask me where I get my wallpapers from. DeviantArt.com is the main source. So D-E-V-I-A-N-T Art.com. Thanks for listening, guys. Hope you enjoyed this overview of Display Fusion. I'll leave the link in the video description to the site. Thanks for watching.